Well, today is October 4th, and I've been up here in my camp for one week. We've spent the last two days, three days actually, cutting wood, but here's my camp, and it's coming along nicely, I would say. I still don't have a tarp figured out. Roger and I might work on that later today. Okay, we're gonna build a cook shelter for my camp. I set this one aside, I marked it cook shelter, 10 by 18, so we gotta make it work somehow. The problem right here is these trees are all out of whack. <laughs> There's nothing straight here. I had a shelter up here a couple years ago, but I had it tied off to my wall tent, which was right here. And I can't do that on this tent. Well, I know one thing for sure. I'm never going to get it folded up like this again. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Oh, wow. Huge. It is huge. Holy crap. Okay, so what do we have? We have a big-ass tarp. That's what we have. Okay, so uh, Oh, you mean my idea of putting a guy line right up here yeah, and leaving a little good. overhang. All right, so what do you think? This is probably the best way just like this. All right. Do this thing and then here you can rope off whatever height you want. Okay. All right, we'll start by building a uh, a guy line between these two trees here. This is nail number two. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. shelter. Use a 10 by 18 tarp, some tighteners, some stakes, and some bungee cords and rope and put together a pretty darn nice cook shelter. I can sit under here, we can sit under here, whatever, stay out of the weather. Look, like my little lantern, my little lantern nails are still up. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for your help. I actually was just thinking about going without this year, but as the season progresses, I'm sure I'm going to be very happy that I'm going to have something on my head. Right. 